Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. It's derived this whole uh, Nernst equation, right? See, uh, Nernst equation is based on equilibrium constant. It is based on equilibrium concept. Yes, it is based on the equilibrium concept. So let's take a reaction. A moles of capital A plus small b moles of capital B reacts with, I mean reacts and some n electrons are transferred. You get c moles, small c moles of capital C plus small d moles of capital D. This is the reaction let's suppose I have. Right? So at any point of time, if I want to find Q, Q is nothing but what C capital C into concentration of C capital D into concentration of D small d by capital A concentration of A capital B concentration of B. That is the value of Q at any point of time. Right? And at equilibrium, we know that at equilibrium Q is equal to K. So what you get at K is nothing but the value of Q at equilibrium. Right? So if Q is uh, less than K, so if Q is less than K, then the reaction will move in forward direction. If Q is greater than K, the reaction will move in backward direction. So this is something we know equilibrium concept, right? The value of Q is nothing but concentration of reactant by concentration of, sorry, concentration of product by concentration of reactant at any given point of time. And at equilibrium, the same value Q becomes K. Right? So, if Q is less than K, the reaction moves forward direction. Q is greater than K, the reaction moves in backward direction. Also, we know one more critical equation that is delta G is nothing but delta G naught plus RT ln Q at any point of time. Correct? This is the equation I know. This is equation, let's suppose, 1. This is equation number 2. These, we know that. Right? The Gibbs free energy change is the delta G naught plus RT ln Q. Right? So in case, in case all these species are one molar, it is A, B, C, D, all are one molar actually, all are one molar if you see, all are one molar, this Q becomes 1, ln Q becomes 0. So delta G becomes delta G naught. Right? So case 1 all species one molar that is what we have seen till now right and delta g becomes delta g naught plus rt ln 1 and that is nothing but delta g becomes delta g naught that is what we have seen right now let's talk about the now this is delta g right this is all we know but we have to find the electric potential right so what is electric potential? We know that electric potential is nothing but work done per unit charge to bring a unit charge from infinite distance to point of interest. Let, let me write this definition actually. Electric potential is work done per unit charge to bring a unit charge from infinite distance to the point of interest. The point I am talking about, right? From some infinite distance, I am bringing it to some point Q, right? So I can write that work done since it is per unit charge, right? So that means nothing but is nothing but electric potential. Electric potential into total charge of n molecules. Total charge of n mole of 
electrons actually why see because i am trying to bring some n moles of electrons right this n moles of electrons are getting transferred here so what is the work done in this i have i have to find total charge on these n moles of electron into electric potential correct because there is a potential you know the electric potential of that so that is a work done by the system correct because for this system let's suppose e is my electric potential n n e is the electron n e n n is the number of electrons that is getting transferred here, right so so we are and we assume when moles actually because we will not talk about the one number right we will talk about because a moles b moles c moles d moles then it's n moles by default so we have to first find the total charge on n moles of electron you know, multiply with the electric potential we'll get the work done by the system correct so first find the charge on n moles of electron let's do that so first find the let's charge on n mole of electron see we know that charge of one electron is what 1.60219 into 10 to the power minus 19 equal one electron right so we have to find charge of one mole of electron will be what the same number which we have got 29 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb we do multiply with number of electrons in one mole that is nothing but Avogadro number that is nothing but 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 because we know that if you talk about one mole of electron that means you're talking about this many electrons correct and that is nothing but 96500 coulomb and you call this as 1f1 faraday so if charge on one mole of electron is 1 faraday charge on n mole of electron is what n faraday correct so now we have found the charge on n moles that is nothing but nf we know this guy and what is the electric potential e you know this also right so the work done is nothing but nfe correct see work done is w work done is w electric potential was e we have just assumed e is the electric potential and the total charge e is the electric potential and the total charge on an electron is nf right so work done this work done is electrical work done work done electrical work done is nfe but in this case in this uh, chemical reaction right in this uh, uh, cell we have only electrical work done there is no mechanical work done correct because uh, the pressure and temperature is constant right so net work done is nothing but electrical work done correct so my delta g delta g let me check. so my delta g here will be equal to what work net and that is nothing but minus nfe why why minus because the work is done by system work is done by system see nobody is doing work on system right system is doing the work the reaction is happening on the system and the system is doing the work so delta g is minus nfe correct and with this reaction also we know that if delta g is minus nfe delta g naught will be what minus nfe naught Correct. Instead of G, we'll put G naught. Instead of E, we'll put E naught. Correct. Now let's put this value in this equation. This equation. So we'll put this delta G and delta G naught in this equation. In this equation. So what this equation will become? So delta G will become minus NFE. Minus NFE is nothing but delta G naught. It is minus NFE naught plus rt ln q so let's make this equation a little better by dividing whole side with minus nf minus nf we see this is common so we'll divide this by minus nf minus nf minus nf it's cancel it's cancel 
So with this what you get is E is nothing but E naught minus RT by NF ln Q. So that is my Nernst equation. So if you see it is derived from this Gibbs energy equation. Correct? And if you don't want to use ln, you can use this equation where uh, E is nothing but E naught minus 2.303 RT by NF log Q. Why log Q? Because if you are seeing here, uh, instead of ln, I am using log. I know that 2.30 uh, one ln is nothing but 2.303 log. You can use any of this equation. So this is the derivation of Nernst equation. So if you see Nernst equation which we have found has a lot of variables. E is equal to E naught minus 2.303 RT by NF log Q. Right, this is what we have found. But most of the experiment the chemists do they do at 298 Kelvin and there are a lot of constant here R is constant if assumed temperature is 298 this becomes constant and F is constant and 2.303 is constant so let's put all the constant and see what you get so we'll be putting TS 298 Kelvin R will put 8.314 Joule per mole Kelvin and F we know is nothing but 96487 Coulomb per mole. So let's find the value of this whole thing. This is my variable I yeah. Right? Let's find the value of this. This becomes 2.303. R is 8.314. Please note the units. Joule per mole Kelvin into temperature right 298 Kelvin by NF N is nothing sorry NF F you to write F is 96487 Kelvin per mole Kelvin Kelvin cancel mole mole cancel so what you get is 0.592 Joule per Coulomb and Joule per Coulomb is volt so this becomes Point, sorry, it's no point zero five nine two, point zero five nine two, right? This is what the value of this comes out to be, right? So I can rewrite this as E as E naught minus point zero five nine two volt by n log. So let's volt be here. The whole thing will be in volt actually. That is one way of writing this equation because most of the equation, uh, most of the reactions happen at 298. So instead of writing all the variables here, we can simplify this equation. Please note this equation is only for reactions happening at 298 Kelvin, that is room temperature, ST. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again. Examples on